Hello, today I want to talk to you about uh, our uh, simple add-on, Sync Collection Manager, and uh, it's uh, uh, an useful add-on we used a lot uh, in our projects. With this add-on, you can manage all the collections in your project. Uh, let's see an example. Uh, this is a very uh, complex scene. It, uh, it is uh, a kitchen. Uh, we used uh, this kitchen for a short animation and for uh, Arkvitz uh, visualization and rendering. Uh, this scene is quite complex because uh, it contains uh, a lot of, of 3D assets. Let's say we have thousands of uh, assets in this scene. And we have a lot of cameras because we need to shoot uh, several details with different point of view. As you can see, it is a quite common situation uh, and uh, there are several kind of projects that need to render different point of views, let's say architectural visualization projects or uh, product presentations, so on. Once installed, you can find it in the scene uh, properties panel. As you can see, the interface is quite simple. There are only uh, a few fields. Uh, one field to select the folder where you can save the configuration file and uh, one field to uh, select the configuration file you want to load. You can use this add-on to um, select and activate or deactivate uh, some collections in your project and uh, as uh, we said before, it, this is very useful when you have a big project with uh, a, a lot of assets and a lot of collections. And uh, you can organize the um, enabled and disabled collections in configuration files that you can reload whenever you want. This workflow is uh, useful when uh, you want to uh, lighten your scene and uh, speed up your render, um, deactivating or hiding the collections that uh, are not uh, in the frame, uh, in the render. Let's say you have to iterate through uh, several cameras and several uh, rendering from different front point of view, you can uh, uh, prepare and save uh, several configuration files, uh, activating and deactivating the collections uh, for each camera and for each render, and uh, you can easily uh, load each configuration depending on uh, which camera you need to use for the render. Actually, it is only based on uh, collection activation and deactivation, so you need to organize your project managing as assets to be able to turn on or off the collection you need for a certain render and a certain camera. Although it is a quite simple add-on, we found it very useful to speed up our render times, saving us a lot of time running through hundreds of collections, turning them on or off depending on which render we want to start. You can find link for this add-on in the description below. Once uh, you get it from the marketplace, you can install it uh, as a usual add-on in Blender. And for this add-on, it's all. Have a nice day.